Let's see how to upload files and database in Hostinger. At first we will upload our website files and then we will upload our website database. So log in to your Hostinger H panel. Here you will see the hosting section. Just click on manage from here. Now from the left menu select the domain where you want to upload your website files. Now click on file manager. Now select public underscore html. Click on upload from the top. Select file from here. Now select your website file and then click on open. And as you can see that our website files are now uploading. While our website files are uploading, let's create a database for our website. Go back to Hostinger dashboard. Now click on databases from here. Select management. Now add your database name here. After that add your MySQL username here and then password for MySQL username. Once you are done just click on create from here. And as you can see that our database is now created successfully. Now scroll down and here you will see your database. Click on enter PHP my admin. Now click on import from the top. Click on choose file. Select your database file from your computer and then click on open. Now scroll down and then click on import. And our database is now importing. And right now we have successfully uploaded our database to Hostinger. Now let's check out the website files. And as you can see that our file is now uploaded. Now we are going to extract it. Just right click on it and then click on extract from here. Now add a folder here and then click on extract. And as you can see that our files are now extracted to the folder. Open the folder and here you will see all your website files. Just press Ctrl A from your keyboard. Now click on move from the top. We need to move these files to public underscore HTML folder. So double click on it. And here you can see that our path is now changed. So click on move from here. Now all the files are in the public underscore HTML folder. Now scroll down from here and here you will see WP config file. Just right click on it and then click on edit. And now we will change the database details for our website. So we will go back to hosting a dashboard. Copy our database name from here. Go back to config file and paste it here. Now copy the MySQL username and add it here. Now add your MySQL password and after that from the top just click on save. And now if we go back to hosting your management section, click on overview from here. And now if I click on my website link, and as you can see that our website is now working. So this is how you can upload website files and database to hosting her. That's it for today. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe.